day but for most for us it's not so sad we are a perfect machinist he's gonna get it right on out for us but he's gonna have to use some special tools and there and have anything broke the bolt I don't care where it's at So, uh, yeah. right, it's for everybody asking where the oil filter, I meant oil pressure sensor is. Um, the ECM's right here. The oil pressure sensor is right back there. Right behind that, um, you take right here push it over and then push the back side of this and it'll just pull it off um, sometimes they have these little brackets right here covering it if they do just take one nut all the way off with the other one flip it around and uh use a little pressure sensor let's get this baby out so we put a six pack in here and I had to replace number one already, and now number six is acting up. This motor's gonna drive me crazy. My dad better be glad it's his truck. Let's get this cover off and uh, see what we can come up with. Covers off. Get to unplug this and this because this whole gasket piece comes off after you take the injector nuts loose. And we're replacing this harness, so we're gonna take them all loose. So on this truck. You gotta remove the rocker arms. Two 10 millimeter bolts. Then you gotta take the line off, which is 19. And then you gotta take the coil tube out. Once you take the coil tube out, take the two 8 millimeter injector nuts loose. Make sure that these don't fall down in there and nothing falls over in there. If you do, you're gonna have a bad day. So you gotta be very careful. Popping everything in and out. So let's pop this injector out. Clean all the holes up, put a new one in. All right, we got the new injector set in. Bolt started. You want to push this injector all the way in by hand. Start the bolts, don't tighten them down. Put the coil tube in, start the coil tube nut. You want to turn this back and forth with your finger pressed up against the coil tube to make sure that it turns so you make sure the coil tube is seated in the injector. If not, it'll mushroom the coil tube. It sets, and now let's torque it.
on both sides. So I can tell you what's wrong right here. It done spun a bag. Spun it, spun it, spun it. So guess what that means? Out of frame time. Got overhaul going right there. This one's definitely gonna be out of frame. Cause uh, that's copper from the bag spinning. Sad day, man. Sad day. Do you see where it spun? Second one, second main. Yeah, let's uh, let's grab a creeper and get underneath here. This one right here. Yeah, y'all see that bearing slid out right there? So it's locked up completely. Right here, same thing. Same thing right here, because it's spun right there. It's how it's supposed to be gap, it's supposed to be pushed up good. All right, guys, so this one's on the spot. You see how hot this thing got? Look at that bearing right there. Alright, so uh, we're definitely gonna have to do some surgery on this guy, but nothing too much for Hagar. Oh, this is gonna be fun. That one's fun too. Well, I've seen one of these bearings spun, so. Yep. Out of frame. Hey, want to come out? Time for the big one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what Thank you. 